In this video, I show you how to transfer photos from your iPhone to an Android device. Make sure you watch this full guide so you understand all of the different methods and sort of the benefits and disadvantages to them. Without any further ado, let's go and jump straight into this. Here we are on my iPhone, I'll be covering three different methods you can go and use to go and transfer photos from an iPhone to an Android device. And all these methods are gonna be different um, and they're for different purposes. The first two, if you're gonna be sending photos to other people's Android uh, devices, and the third method is gonna be specifically if you just want to and transfer all your photos to your own Android device. So for this first one, it's gonna work best if it's just like one or two photos or one or two videos. So go and open up your photos just like so, then go and find the photos you want to go and transfer. So tap on the select button in the top right of the photos app. In this case, I'll just go and select these two for example. Then what you need to do is just go and tap on the share button in the bottom left. Then the fastest way is probably just to go and send them on an app like WhatsApp or just go and message them. Um, it's really quick, literally press on the share button and then you could go and scroll along to an app like WhatsApp or alternatively you could put it on a social media like Snapchat or something like that or even email it to them. However, if you've got multiple photos and this is gonna take quite a long time, so what I recommend doing is opening up the App Store and what you need to do is go and search for Google Drive. Go and download it just like so, it's quite a simple app and then go and open it up, here we are. You will, you will need to go and sign into a Google account but most people have one anyway. Then what you want to do is go onto it, go and press on files in the bottom and once you're in files, go and tap on the plus button and go and create a new folder. Then you can go and name this anything you want. I'm just gonna go and name this new transfers. I already have one called transfer uh, just like this and then go and tap on create. Then go and tap into it like so. And what I recommend doing is then pressing on the plus button in the bottom right again and going and pressing on upload and then photos and videos. When you tap on here, your camera roll is gonna be um, available and you can go and select all the photos you want to go and upload. So what we can do is upload all the photos into this folder and then we can go and share the folder. I'm now uploading my photos. I only chose four, but you can do way more than this. Then what you need to do is go and share this folder. To do that, you can either go and tap on the three dots in the top right of this page here, just like so, and then go and tap on share. Or alternatively, just come back to your drive and then go and tap on the three dots to the right of the folder and then you can go and tap on share as well. So it's gonna go and ask you to go and add people or groups, but don't worry, we can go and skip this. All you need to do is have the three dots in the top right, and then go and tap on manage access. And then what you can do is where it says general access, go and tap on restricted, and then tap on it again, restricted, and then just do anyone with the link. It'll take a moment to update. So this means anyone with this link to this folder can go and get the images from it. Then just go and tap on the link button in the top right like so, and it's gonna go and copy this link to the clipboard. Now you can go and send this link to um, anyone you'd like, and they can go and download the photos really easily. Just as a quick example, I've just pasted the link here. All you need to do is go and tap on it, and the folder is going to go and load, and then to go and save the image for the other person. All they need to do is tap on the three dots on the right hand side, go and tap on send a copy, and then they can go and tap on save image just at the bottom there, and it'll be added to their camera roll. Let's get into this third method, and as I said at the start of the video, the third method is more if it's um, transferring all of your iPhone photos to your own Android device. It isn't really sharing between other people. So go and open up the app store, and what you want to do is just go and search for photos, or or more specifically, Google Photos. Um, we want to go and get this app here and then go and open it up. So we need to go and configure this. It won't take too long though. And then what we can do is go and back up all of our photos to our Google account. Now it's important to know that if you've got multiple Google accounts, you need to make sure you're using the same one which is currently on your Android device uh, because if you're using different ones, then it's not gonna work because your photos are going to be backed up to different Google accounts. So you can go and tap on this arrow if you want to go and change which account you're using. I'm going to use this one and then I'm gonna go and tap on backup as Rob and I can do face, I'm just gonna say don't allow. And now all my photos are being backed up. And in the top right, you can go and see my profile picture and there's like blue dots and a solid blue line. This is the progress of all my photos being uploaded. So then all you need to do is go onto your Android device and then go and sign into the same Google account as you just signed in on your phone. Then you can go and view all of the photos that you've gone and uploaded to Google Photos um, from your iPhone on your Android device. And also you can do it vice versa. So all the photos you upload from your Android device to Google Photos, you can also go and view on your iPhone. So it's a really great platform. And there are three different ways. Leave a like if you found this useful. Peace.